The following is an instructional video made by TRS for the Gemini Employer Portal. The focus of this video will be maintaining an employer's general information used in payroll reporting and TRS correspondence, including addresses, bank accounts, normal sick leave allotments, and flexible benefit plan information. The Location screen can be accessed by selecting the Locations option from the Employer Information menu at the top of any screen. The Location screen lists the current address of your employer's primary location, any current secondary locations or satellite offices, as well as a history of previous addresses at the bottom of the page. To update your employer's current primary address, simply select the Edit option from the Action drop-down to the left of the primary address. Make any necessary changes, then click the Save button. You will be notified that any contacts who are assigned to the primary location will have their location updated to this new address. Click OK to return to the location screen where you will see the new primary address with an effective date of the following day, as well as the previous address now being listed in the Location History section at the bottom of the screen. You can add a new secondary location by clicking the Add Secondary Location button on the right side of the page. Fill in the address and an effective date before clicking Save to be returned to the Locations page. Once active, secondary locations cannot be edited and can only be inactivated if they are no longer valid locations for your employer. You can inactivate a secondary location by selecting the Inactivate option from the Actions drop-down to the left of the location you want to inactivate. Click Yes to confirm, and the location will be moved from the Secondary Location section to the Location History section at the bottom of the screen. Any contacts that were assigned to this location will be automatically reassigned to your current primary location. If needed, a secondary location can be reactivated by selecting that option from the Actions drop-down of the appropriate former secondary location listed in the Location History section. The Banking screen can be accessed by selecting the Banking option from the Reporting menu at the top of any screen. The Banking screen lists any active bank accounts associated with your employer and any previous accounts in the Banking History section at the bottom portion of the screen. You can add a new account by clicking the Add Account button near the top right of the page. First, enter the routing number of your financial institution, then click the Search button to ensure that the return name matches. After entering your account number, select whether the account type is checking or savings, followed by the name listed for the account at your financial institution. You have the option of selecting whether this account will be used to pay contributions for traditional TRS-defined benefit reports, new TRS Supplemental Savings Plan-defined contribution reports, or both. Add a begin date for the account, end date can be left blank. Finally. Thoroughly read the Electronic Funds Transfer Authorization Terms before checking the box to accept. Click the Save button to create the account and be returned to the banking screen. Once an account is effective, it cannot be edited, and the account number will be partially obscured for security purposes. Using the Edit action on an active account will only allow you to enter an end date for the account, which can be in the future at which point the account will be inactive and unavailable for use and will appear in the Banking History section at the bottom of the screen. The Sick Leave screen can be accessed by selecting the Sick Leave option from the Employer Information menu at the top of any screen. The Sick Leave screen lists any normal annual allotments for the current fiscal year at the top portion of the screen while allotment information for previous fiscal years is listed in the History section below. To add a new allotment or group of allotments, click the Add Sick Leave button at the top right of the page. First select the fiscal year, followed by the job category the allotments will apply to. For the purposes of this screen, employees reported using the Medical slash Counseling Job category will be treated as teachers. Next, enter the first allotment amount, then either press the Enter key or click out of the field to save that amount. Click the plus sign to get a new field to add another allotment amount. This can be done as many times as needed until you have entered all of the possible normal annual allotments for the selected job category and fiscal year. Finally, 
Use the comments box to explain in detail which subpopulations of employees qualify for each of the entered allotments based on service time or any other relevant information. Click Save to finish and be returned to the sick leave screen. The Flex Plan screen can be accessed by selecting the Flex Plan option from the Employer Information menu at the top of any screen. The Flex Plan screen lists flexible benefit plan payment amounts for the current fiscal year, as well as amounts from previous fiscal years listed in the History section below. To add a new Flex Plan amount, click the Add Flex Plan button at the top right of the screen. First select the fiscal year, followed by the job category the plan payment will apply to. For the purposes of this screen, employees reported using the medical slash counseling job category will be treated as teachers. Next type in the annual dollar amount that will be paid to eligible employees. If the plan is available to new hires, select yes, otherwise select no. If you selected no, then you will need to indicate if those that are grandfathered into the plan are allowed to switch between the salary option and the plan benefit. Leave any additional explanatory or qualifying information in the comments box, then click Save to be returned to the Flex Plan screen. Flex Plan entries can be edited or deleted until you submit any payroll reports with Flex Pay records for the associated job category and fiscal year. The Board Paid TRS screen can be accessed by selecting the Board Paid TRS option from the Employer Information menu at the top of any screen. The Board Paid TRS screen lists entries for the current fiscal year indicating whether or not your employer covers any portion of a member's TRS contributions and if so, how much. Entries for previous fiscal years can be found in the History section at the bottom portion of the page. To add a new entry, Click the Add Board Paid TRS button at the top right of the page. First select a job category in fiscal year, then use the checkbox to indicate if your employer pays any portion of the TRS member contributions for members of the selected job category. Use the comments box to add any additional explanatory information, for instance the percentage covered and to whom this applies if it is not for the entire job category. This information helps TRS ensure accurate reporting of member earnings as these covered contributions are considered part of their compensation and should be included in their total creditable earnings reported to TRS. Click the Save button to finish and be returned to the Board Paid TRS screen. This has been an instructional video made by TRS for the Gemini Employer Portal. The focus of this video was maintaining an employer's general information used in payroll reporting and TRS correspondence, including addresses, bank accounts, normal sick leave allotments, and flexible benefit plan information.